Hello everyone, welcome to Unite Coaching. First of all, I would like to thank all of you because of your support and love. Unite Coaching has achieved 6000 plus subscribers. So Unite Coaching is starting a new video series in which you will learn of estimation of a full building in Microsoft Excel. In this video, we will teach you full estimate of a G plus 3 building in Microsoft Excel. So let's start with the video. So before you start the estimation, you must have the plans. You have drawn structural drawings and structural design data. As you can see here, I had designed a G plus 3 apartment building and I have its design data and drawing in AutoCAD. The first step is to calculate the quantity of excavation required for footing. For that, I have made an Excel sheet Microsoft Excel which is a simple measurement sheet with, deals, with, with details such as serial number, description, number, length, breadth, height or depth, quantity and its unit. I will give its download link in my upcoming videos after 4-5 to five tutorial videos. One more thing is that I will simultaneously carry out its rate analysis. So let's start with the calculation of quantity of excavation. I have entered the description of excavation from the district schedule rate book that is DSR book. As you can see in AutoCAD, I had grouped footing which are similar in the size and design. So there are five groups of footing. In the first group, there are 15 footings whose size is 1.3 meter by 1.2 meter. But as this is the quantity of excavation, we will have to take the size of PCC 1.6 meter by 1.5 meter. So in the Excel, I have entered the length and breadth values value as 1.6 by 1.5 meter. Number of footing in the first group are 15. So I will put number as 15. Now comes the height. The height below ground level is 1100 mm which is 1.1 meter. So I will put the value as 1.1 meter and it is a constant for all footings. So I will just drag the cursor. Sim similarly, the other values can be entered in the Excel sheet from your design data. As you can see here, the number of footing in the second group are 5, in the third group 6 and 4 number and 6 number in group 4 and group 5. So I have entered those values. Similarly, put the length and breadth values as we entered for the first group from AutoCAD. Now comes the calculation of quantity. For that, just multiply number, length, breadth and height. So I will put the formula as is equals to cell G7 multiply by cell H7 multiply by cell I7 and multiply by cell J7 and at last press enter. Now there is no necessary of entering the formula number of times. Just drag the cursor down, cursor downwards and it will calculate all the quantities. Now comes the calculation of total quantity of excavation. That is, we have to add all these groups calculated quantity. So put the formula as is equals to sum cell K7 is to K11 and press enter. So this was the process of calculation of quantity of excavation. Now I will calculate the amount of money required for excavation. I have taken the rate of excavation per cubic meter as 175 rupees per cubic meter. You can take the rate as per your locality. To calculate the, the total amount in Excel, just multiply the quantity by its rate. So the formula in Excel will be is equals to the quantity multiplied by its rate. That is cell K6 multiplied by cell M6. In this way, rate is also calculated in Excel for excavation. So this was the process of calculation of quantity of excavation and amount of money required for excavation. In the next video, we will calculate the quantity of PCC in Excel. If you have any query or doubt, you can ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to Unite Coaching for more such videos.